New information after a Bristol County woman infected with triple E has died. Thank you for joining us on Western Mass News. I'm Beth Ward. And I'm Chris Pisano. So with the number of triple E cases growing, there are many questions. Western Mass News reporter Caroline Powers joins us live from Chicopee after talking with health officials, getting answers on what we need to know about this potentially deadly virus. Caroline. Chris and Beth, the Massachusetts Department of Public Health announced the fourth human case of triple E yesterday. Today, Tufts Medical Center and the DPH confirmed that Lori Sylvia from Fairhaven, a town located in Bristol County, died. This news comes just a couple of days after a man closer to home in Franklin County was exposed to the virus. Health experts stay in order to stay healthy. It's all about prevention. Stephen Rich is the director of the UMass Laboratory of Medical Zoology. He says the news of a Bristol County woman dying after being exposed to Eastern Equine Encephalitis, or Triple E, is sadly not shocking. Unfortunately, not a big surprise. So it's going to happen periodically that Eastern Equine Encephalitis virus and West Nile virus to a lesser extent are going to cause illness in people um, because the, the, the incidents that are going to arise over time is a consequence of how the cycle is maintained. So far, four human cases have been reported in the Bay State, in Bristol, Franklin, Plymouth, and Worcester County. Dr. Joseph Schmidt from Bay State Medical Center says while it seems like there are a lot of cases, triple E is still a rare disease. The last time there were human cases reported in Massachusetts was 2013. There's only been about 100 cases since they first uh, were able to describe it in Massachusetts uh, in the late 1930s. So it's a rare disease. And even people who expose, get exposed to the virus, only a relatively small number of them get sick. Something like 5 out of 100 actually who get exposed and get the virus, get the encephalitis portion or the brain inflammation. The, the bad news is those that do get that get very sick. Dr. Schmidt tells Western Mass News the timeline of the virus goes as mosquitoes go. Usually it takes sort of a hard frost before the mosquitoes in general are, are done or mostly done for the season. So that's usually the marker of what would be the end of the season. So we're not, we're not, we're certainly not there yet. DEET is still the number one method for keeping mosquitoes off you. You treat it, you spray it on your skin and it will keep mosquitoes from coming and, and, and biting on your skin. Dr. Schmidt says there is no antibiotic or antiviral medicine that treats triple E. If you are exposed to the virus, you would be admitted to the hospital for supportive treatment. Live in Chicopee, I'm Caroline Powers for Western Mass News.